Dr. Hector Perez in Cancun, Mexico, explains the top weight loss surgical procedures he performs. Weight loss has a, a variety of procedures and a range of candidates, okay? Uh, some procedures are not for the BMI is below 35, but we have other options for that, okay? We can divide uh, bariatric procedures in two uh, big uh, scenarios. A uh, restrictive procedure that includes the gastric balloon and the gastric sleeve. Back in the days, probably five, seven years ago, we did uh, another restrictive procedure called uh, ga uh, gastric lapel. Nowadays, that procedure is almost uh, prescribed. There are still some places, especially in the United States, doing lap bands for a low BMIs, uh, between 30 and 35. But the problem is that it's shown that the re uh, patients regain weight and also eventually, after 5 to 10 years, they need the band to get removed. So nowadays we uh, mostly do gastric balloons for low BMIs or gastric sleeves as a restrictive procedure. What's a restrictive procedure? We're gonna make a patient eat less. In the gastric balloon, by placing a, a device, a balloon, that may be filled up to 600 cc of, of liquid, and that will cover around 50% of your natural stomach, and you will be able to eat less. And with the gastric sleeve, what we do is we staple and cut between 75 and 80% of your stomach, okay? And while removing that part of the stomach, we also remove on the fundus of the stomach a hormone called ghrelin. The, the hormone ghrelin is the hormone of hunger. So patients can eat only 20 or 25% of what they usually could eat, but also our patients that they don't, are, they, they won't be hungry because we remove that, uh, that hormone. And the other uh, group of uh, bariatric surgeries are the mixed procedures. Why are they called mixed? Because they, are, they have mild restriction, but they also have malabsorption. Those are the gastric bypasses. There are many variants of gastric bypasses, but they mostly work the same. You're, we're gonna do a new pouch, a new stomach, that is gonna be between 15 and 20% of your natural stomach, but we're gonna bypass between 150 or even up to three meters of small bowel to attach it to your new pouch so that now you're gonna eat less but also what you eat won't be able to absorb in the whole small bowel so you won't be able to absorb carbs and bad things for your weight but we need to make sure that when we bypass the small bowels you don't end up with the vitamin deficiencies okay? and that's why they are uh, different types of gastric bypass. Someone, there's a gastric bypass, bypass called Gwen Y that you bypass between 1 and 150 meters of small bowel but you do another attachment below like a Y to, to make sure that all nutrients uh, get absorbed. And another gastric bypass that nowadays is getting very trendy because it's having excellent results, especially in long-term weight loss and controlling diabetes and high blood pressure is the mini gastric bypass or also known as one anastomosis bypass. In that gastric bypass, what we do is create a new pouch as I was telling you, but instead of bypassing 1.5 meters, as are doing why we bypass three meters. Okay, so patients have less absorption, but we have to make sure that there are no vitamin deficiencies, and thankfully there aren't any. So we could tell those are the two big groups of bariatric surgery: the restriction, the, the restrictive procedures, and the malabsorptive procedures. Got questions? We would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Tell us what else you want us to cover. And do not forget to share and like this video.